Well, Natalie, we've been keeping an eye on those arrivals, those departures, seeing how they've been affected by this storm. And so far this morning, it's mostly those incoming flights. DFW led the country in cancellations and delays there because of the incoming flights. Now, for the outgoing flights, if you're leaving this morning, for the most part, it looks like things are still on time. Maybe a few delays here or there, but I was checking the big board. It looks like everything was on time. In fact, there were even some of those early 5 a.m., 6 a.m. flights that were boarding and on their way out. Over at Love Field, we also had a photographer there, and we saw some people sleeping on the benches. Now, that is a much smaller airport, so it did not have as many of the number of cancellations and delays. However, we know how these things work with the domino effect. When planes can't land, that kind of slows operations down. If there's more rain on the way, that can also create a domino effect that, late, that lasts further into the day. So if you're flying out at all today, DFW or Love Field, make sure you're keeping a close eye on your flight status because the, those things can change, gates can change, times can change, and also leave plenty of time to get out here because we know things can get messy on the roads. Kara, back to you. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, already stressful enough. Uh, be before you leave the house today, download our app. That'll help you out. We're going to send you alerts with any weather warnings or major traffic closures. Make sure you share your photos in the Near Me section so we can see what's happening in your neighborhood.